I because I know so many people, but we've been forced to move on to other things that are equally as important. But 9-11 is key. So thank you, Bill, and exactly. continue your work. And I would also like to add the story you ran on the reporters being arrested by the cops. Was that the School of the Americas? Is yes, it was. Okay. Uh, I guess I would just say this, and I'm going to say this calmly. I don't know what's wrong with the police in this country, except the training they are being they are receiving is 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 what's bringing this about. They're being they're being taught to destroy America, to beat us down. And I don't want to hate the cops, but I I feel threatened by you on a primitive level as a man. And I'm not going to lay down and take this stuff. And at some point, the American people are going to react. We're going to see more cases like the guy in Florida at the school board. And I, I don't want to see that happen, Bill. No. Uh, but I guess I would say to the cops out there, look. <laughs> this isn't Europe. We're armed to the teeth in this country. And oh, there's going to come point. a point when people will defend themselves. And if they would just take the time to look at their bosses that are shipping drugs into this country, <laughs> I'm talking to the police now, right. and, and their bosses that, that were involved in bringing down uh, nine, the towers on 9-11 and enslaving this country. And I know it's not sergeants and it's higher up the food chain. Start looking at the evidence. Watch shows like this one that you produce, Bill. Excellent show. Look at Ventura, Alex Jones, and other things. And be aware that you're being used to destroy America. That's <laughs> not America. That was a great little clip you put in there, Bill, and I just wanted to commend you on that. All right, thank thanks. You. And, and I'll get off the air. God bless you. Have a Merry Christmas, and keep up the good work. We hope to see you next year. Thank you. And thank you. The phone lines are ringing off the hook, so next caller, go ahead for taking my call, and I love what you do. Um, okay, Dennis Kucinich has been a person who's been wanting to bring this stuff out. How do you feel about him? And then the second question I have is, um, are, like the one caller said about people who may have infiltrated the government, do you believe that there's people like Kucinich in the government who will help bring this out? Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, they're all over the place. They're coming out all over I mean, whistleblowers after whistleblowers, but the the problem is that the media doesn't cover any of it. So when they come out, it's on the internet, and then if you watch that, you're a conspiracy nut. You know, they just that's this whole thing about squishing down any resource we have. See, we we wouldn't have any of this information for another forty years if we ever had it at all. If we didn't have the internet. That's why they're working so hard to shut it down. So it's very important that we, you know, don't let them. I don't know how we do that, but stay informed. The more information you have, the less they can con you. If they can't con you, you don't go along willingly. If you don't go along willingly, they have a very, very hard time doing things. We've already, we know for sure that we've stifled, you know, several completely canceled several of these readiness terrorist drills with the black helicopters because we found out ahead of them uh, we found out about them ahead of time and raised bloody you know what and the fact of the matter is we do not need black helicopter practicing in our city you know? I, I agree yes and anyway i got off on a tangent oh boy I, I, the thing is i don't do it as well as alex jones you know so i'm just a beginner at this ranting stuff but i can see that if you know, things don't start changing, we're going to have a lot more people ranting. And by the way, I'm here at Portland Community Media, and I'm willing to take anybody that doesn't know anything about video and help them learn. And you can put on your own TV show, whatever whatever interests you. Become your own expert. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Do we have another caller? No more calls? Yes. Oh, we do have a call. Hello. Hey, Bill. Um... I wanted to ask, what did you think of the um, the 9/11 first responders that are trying to get uh, health benefits for all the health problems that they're going through right now? And the Senate, the Senate just declined. Yeah, that, can uh, you can you imagine that they get all uptight about, oh, you're going to take away our tax breaks for the very rich billionaires? Mm -hmm. Billionaires need their tax breaks, but oh, first responders who gave up their health for your well-being, right? We're not going to take care of them, no, sir. Yeah, and these are the same, it seemed like to me, these are the same senators that were praising him to all, to the highest pedestal. Right. Just, you and know, remember George Bush putting his arm around him with a bullhorn? We're right. going to find out who did this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he didn't have a mirror at the time. I, I just find it interesting, interesting how they just cram patriotism down your throat and then they turn around and do something like this that's not really been a part of the, you know, another, another big issue that's not really been reported much in the media. I just found that interesting. 
and it's going on and on and on. Um, luckily, all over the place, there are people doing really good things. I think Visibility 911 just started a different program to try to get information to people um, on a new basis, you know. Um, and actually, I'm one of the only 911 shows on the West Coast, at least. I, I know there's one in Denver, too. And I think somebody has one in New York, but I'm not sure. There's not a lot of us out here. They're trying to end cable access, probably for that one of those reasons, too. Yeah. Ray, keep, keep doing what you do. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. All right. Well, <clears throat> you see my roll-in directory behind me. Okay, we're starting the DVD show again. This is the, the slideshow, again, of the artifacts at the JFK airport. But the fact that some of these artifacts do exist uh, means that we can investigate. You know, everybody's talking about the steel that's been shipped off to China. Okay, caller, go ahead. You're on the air. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, Zbigniew Brzezinski was um, Obama's campaign advisor. Didn't that alert anybody in this country to <laughs> is rotten? Exactly. You know, he was, Obama was cultivated and, and prepared for the presidency you know, and following the teachings and tootlings of Zbigniew Brzezinski, who is, you know, the number one orchestrator of so much wrong. Who do I know that can dial the phone? Yeah, you know, and the funny thing of it is, is the, turn off your cell phones. Back when the um, uh, when the elections were, uh, or the, not the elections, but when the campaigning was going on, and. Uh, when I saw that, you know, I thought, well, McCain was probably one of the least viable of all the Republican candidates because he's a psycho and a jackass cowboy. <laughs> um, but and, and you can go back and listen to any of the uh, verbiage from any of his uh, fellow military uh, people that he worked with. I've heard that from a number of sources. But uh, when he picked, uh, uh, I can see Russia from my house, uh, <laughs> Sarah Palin. As a running um, mate. That, you know, I just went, you know, these people have no shame at all. I mean, it's like, you know, they must believe we have got to be the stupidest people on the earth. And What do you mean calling me stupid? Meh. Yeah, I, Meh. I don't think they're far off because the American <laughs> public is that blind to believe that, you know, I mean, especially when they see Zbigniew Brzezinski. I knew, I knew, I saw him like in the second or third week of the, uh, when the campaign first got started. And I saw him walking side by side with Obama. It was on the local news here. Yep. And they showed him someplace back east where he was campaigning. And he was going from point A to B. And they showed him walking side by side. And uh, I actually kind of wanted to throw up when I when I saw the big new Brzezinski on there. So it's. Uh, and if anybody ever wants to see a real creep out, sometime check out the Charlie Rose on OPB uh, interview that he did with uh, the big new Brzezinski and Henry Kissinger. That, yeah, I just saw that the other day. That was what I was. Yeah. I mean, you talk about he starts interviewing him. He says, you know, there are some conspiracy people out there who, you know, think that, well, you're the, what, the grandchild or whatever he said of conspiracies, you know. And he went down to Trilateral Commission, the Bilderbergers, yeah. and so on. Yeah, that's worth looking at. It, check C-SPAN. I always cruise through C-SPAN and see if anybody's out there. You know, the only way we're going to get this message out to the American public is to um, basically put your show on national and have it run every day, three times a day. You know, I mean, they run Democracy Now! twice a day, and she's even been, like you alluded to uh, a couple years ago there when I mentioned, or about a year ago, when I mentioned that she was one of the people that reported Building 7 came down uh, 23 minutes before it actually happened, and when somebody questions her about it, she kind of, uh, you know, Emily, uh, Emily, or not Emily, Amy Goodman, who is the host of, uh, for all those people out there that don't know, Amy Goodman is the host of a TV radio show called democracy well, now. now now what do you mean she she reported it 23 minutes early i don't think she did she was standing there uh at the at the cross streets in front of building seven when it started falling and she heard the countdown okay and we have pictures of her running with the rest of the group after the countdown okay but one time about a year ago she was here in town talking at the baghdad theater as a benefit for cable or one of the other radio somebody shows. confront her and I mentioned, because you mentioned something about there was some, something was, and I can't remember all the details, but I actually called in and asked you about that, because you said that if, if somebody asked her about the 9-11 thing, she will spin it around and make it sound like that person is harassing her. Right. 
And so I thought it was that she was one of the people, along with the BBC and some of the other liars that were uh, announcing that the building was coming down 23 minutes before it did. But I, I don't remember all the little details. Yeah, it wasn't that. But by the way, um, Alex Jones, um, you know, was one of the first people to point out that th there were so many different news groups that, you know, made that 23-minute early report. Yeah. And how did they all know? Are they all psychic? I mean, none of these buildings, no, no steel frame building had ever fallen due to fire in the history of the world. Yeah. So how did they all know at once, just this time? Well, it turns out that it was a Reuters dispatch oh. that went to all of them, and now we have to find out how did Reuters get that information. Yeah. Well, uh, I think on one of your previous shows a couple years ago or a year ago, you had the interview, the hidden, hidden interview that they did with the uh, cab driver. Right. The uh, car got hit by the light pole. Right, and then he's denying it finally. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then when they caught him off camera, when they... Uh, uh, right, he, he says, oh, this is bigger than me, I'm just a little guy. Yeah, exactly. That <laughs> needs to be uh, maybe run more often. I'll, I'll, I'll run that one again. Yeah. Hey, well, thanks, caller. I got another call. We got two thanks minutes work, left. So. I'd like to see you do the show every week uh, or twice a week or something like that. I know what you mean. Is There's enough information and enough people that want to talk about it. As soon as I open up the phone lines, it doesn't stop. Yeah, and yeah this, well, I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. So. I'd like to say this is the most popular TV show on cable access, but I don't know. <laughs> but I've been told it's popular. You know, yours and, and uh, outside the box there with Alex Ansari and stuff, and then the... Uh, um, as a quick side note here, the people in Cannabis Common Sense, I mean, hell, if we could bring in uh, industrial hemp into this country. Oh, that that's definitely an economic boon. That would fix a lot of things. Well, yeah, and hey, but i got to get to the next caller. Clean up the air, too. Take care. Thanks. Oh, that's true. All right, caller, go ahead. We have two minutes. Next caller. Oh, hello? Yeah, uh, you're on. I uh, have very short time. Go for uh, it. We'll be interested... The, the the phenomenon of WikiLeaks, as I'm sure you're aware of, yeah. has brought has brought to our attention the the enormous uh, amount of deceit that goes on through the uh, through the administration as regards to foreign currencies. So hopefully, but what are they um, complaining uh, about? They're just complaining that oh, you let it loose, not that yeah. it was so terrible in the first. Yeah, uh, uh. And so I'm, I'm saying I'm finishing. I'm just saying that oh. this should should bring to the attention. Of those who uh, so have dismissed the um, the 9/11, that it should be still investigated and taken care of, as you suggest yourself. So good show is at the end, and I won't take more. But that was the point. WikiLeaks, 9/11. Let's see if we can strike a parallel between the two and use one to investigate the other. Thank you. Right on. And I've heard that if Wiki, WikiLeaks had been active back during 9/11. 9-11 might not have happened. Caller, we've got 56 okay. seconds. Go ahead. Caller, 56 seconds. Go for it. Go for it. Okay, no caller. All right, well, folks, we're, we're going to be back again in not just two weeks because uh, that would be the first, and the studio's closed on the first, so two weeks after that will be the 15th, and that's my next show. But on the first, I'll have a tape, and I'll put something good on so that you can, at this same time slot, go ahead and tune in and... You'll see a canned show that you won't be able to call into, but I'll, I'll replay that cab driver for one thing. Anyway, thanks for watching, and be sure to watch again.